This video is on different types of data. There are numerous ways to categorize data. For one to properly filter and analyze them, they will need to know the basic format classification so that data can be properly structured. First, we have primary and secondary data classification. Primary data are information collected by you or your team, while secondary are provided or collected from somewhere else. Then we have internal and external data. Internal data lives within the company's systems, while external lives outside company's systems. Then we have continuous data versus discrete data. Continuous data can have any numeric value, while discrete has limited number of values. For example, number of people in a room is discrete. You can't have 5.5 people in a room, and it has to be a whole number. Height or temperature can be continuous, like being 5.57 inches tall. There's also qualitative and quantitative data. Quantitative is measured in numerical value, while qualitative is measured in some sort of qualities or characteristics. Looking at it from data perspective, quantitative can be number of sales, and qualitative can be favorite brands for a specific age group. Next, we have nominal data and ordinal data. Nominal data is something that can't be organized in a set order, while ordinal is something you can organize in set order. For example, ordinal includes movie rating or income level. They can be organized from high to low or low to high, while nominal includes new applicant name or new listing data with no way to organize them in a set order. Understanding different data formats and how you can organize and filter them is critical to baseline skill of data analytics. And when you create reports, you're going to need to find some of a specific data or use some formula to get some specific numbers. And not all formulas will work on the same specific data set. One should not only understand the types of data, but also understand where these data are pulled from, how it's been collected and validated, and how it can be utilized for reports and dashboards.